welcome class 9 students my dear class 9 students i am vijay victor welcome you in maths class and in e learning class of sir bhai sekhar uh, today uh, we are going to learn two very important theorem of related to circles uh, the first theorem states us is that equal chords equal chords of a circle are equally distant from center. Now we will transform this question in pictorial form. You have given a circle whose center is O and radius is R. A B and C B. These two are the chords which are equal in length. What do you write here? You will in circle center is O and radius is R. A B is equal to C B. We have to prove that the equal distance from O M is perpendicular on and O A is perpendicular on C B. This is also given. O M is perpendicular on A B and O A is perpendicular on C B. Why? Why this mentioned? Because we have given that equal chords are at equal distance. Now please look at the board. Equal distance means. Suppose I want to measure my distance from this wall. So how how can I uh, measure my distance from this wall? I put uh, one end of the uh, measuring tape here and other end at that corner or at that corner no, or in the perpendicular direction. In the perpendicular direction. So the distance between two points is the perpendicular distance. Is the least distance between that. Two points. So that if you want to measure the distance between AB and this CD chord, then we have to draw perpendicular from center to the chord. So OA is the distance be between O and AB. OA is the distance between O and CD. Because always you have to measure the distance between any two points. That is the shortest distance, and shortest distance is known as Perpendicular distance. Very good. Now, what we have to prove here? We have to prove that O M is equal to O M. Chords are equal. Then the distance between the chords to the centers are equal. We need to prove these things. Now, for this, we need to do one construction. Join O B and O D. O B and O D O D. Now, uh, before this exercise, we have studied one theorem that if perpendicular is drawn from center to chord, what is the result? So the chord is bisected. That it bisect the chord. When I uh, ask you what is the difference between theorem and axiom, I I taught you. That theorems are the geometrical facts which can be proved by with the help of evidence. axioms and previous evidence. Uh, previous studied theorem. So here we can use one of the facts of the theorem which you have studied Before earlier. जो आप पहले पढ़ चुके हैं। अब यहाँ लिखेंगे proof. A B is equal to C D Y. मुझे 
that perpendicular drawn from center to chord bisect the body and write this statement here. Now, we will take this, uh, the two triangles. Triangle O, M, B and O, N, D. D. Triangle O, M, B and triangle O, N, D. D. Now, there are three facts which can make these two triangles congruent. I want one student from each row stand to uh, tell me the fact. From each row. Take a chakra of the answer. Take a look. You stand, this row. On this row, you stand. And from that row, one. Acha, I didn't tell you. First fact. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Ah, Bolly. OM is equal to OM. O. My dear Anna. We have to prove this fact. We have to prove karma hai. Aap kaise is kule sakte ho? O. Kya wala? O. 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 B is equal to. Aray, O. C. Wala. Shhh. O. B is equal to. O. B is equal to. O. C. Kaha hai in that triangle mein? O. B is equal to. O. B is equal to. O. B. Very good. O. B is equal to. What is your name? Dhan and Jaya. Why O. B is equal to. What is it? Dhan and Jaya. Because they are. Radius, good Dharanjay, because they are the radius. Second. So, the uh, BM equal to DN. BM is equal to? DN. DN, you have to do this one. Yes. BM is equal to? DN. BM is equal to? Uh, DN, which is, it is proved. Yeah, so what is to prove that they are? Third, Aditya. Sir, angle OMP is equal to angle OMP. Angle O M B, angle O M B is equal to angle O N D. Now this side is equal, this side is equal, and the angle between them are equal. So it is given. So triangle O M B is congruent to triangle O M D because of S A S S A S. Now Anam, we can write what we are heading. OM is equal to OM because of CPC. So this result proves of that if chords of a circles are equal, then they are equidistant. Got it? Now the second theorem is converse of this theorem. If chords of a circle are equidistant, then the chords are equal. ठीक है ना आपका नेक्स्ट थ्योरम क्या हो जाएगा बच्चों इफ कॉर्स ऑफ ए सर्कल आर इक्वी डिस्टेंट डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम सेंटर सेंटर then the chords are equal. Equal. Okay. Now I am going to draw the figure. We have given a chord A B and chord C C D. So even OM is perpendicular and OA is perpendicular on CT, OM is perpendicular on AD and these two are equal. 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 It is also given this, this two are equal. 90. 90. It is also mentioned. Yes. Huh? So what is given? In circle center is O and radius. Center is O and radius is R. Uh, OM perpendicular. OM is perpendicular on AB. OM is perpendicular on CD. CD. OM is equal to OM. To prove AB is equal to CD. Now, what is the condition? Two chords of a circle are given, and these chords of a circle are at Equal distance. Equal distance. So we have to make these two chords 
Till then, all the best. God bless you.